Is olive oil a spiritual weapon? The hidden truth of olive oil in the Bible. Olive oil holds deep spiritual significance in the Bible and is often seen as a symbol of anointing, healing, and the presence of the Holy Spirit. While it is not specifically referred to as a spiritual weapon, it is a powerful element in biblical narratives and spiritual practices. Here are some key ways olive oil is used and symbolized in the Bible. The practice of anointing with olive oil in the Bible holds profound spiritual significance, especially in the context of consecration. Olive oil was used to set people and objects apart for sacred purposes, marking them as holy and dedicated to God's service. 1. Anointing of Priests Exodus 30 verse 30 God instructed Moses to anoint Aaron and his sons as priests, consecrating them for the priesthood. The anointing with oil symbolized their special role as mediators between God and the people, signifying that they were chosen by God for sacred service. This practice of anointing priests continued throughout Israel's history. Anointing not only consecrated the individual, but also conveyed the idea of divine empowerment, setting the person apart for a unique, spiritual role. 2. Anointing of Kings 1 Samuel 10 verse 1 the prophet Samuel anointed Saul as the first king of Israel by pouring oil on his head, symbolizing God's selection and empowerment for leadership. 1 Samuel 16 verse 13 Later, Samuel anointed David to be king, an act that signified God's favor and appointment. The anointing marked the moment when the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David. In these instances, the anointing was a sign of God's authority and blessing upon the leader indicating that they were chosen to fulfill a divine purpose. 3. Anointing of Prophets In some cases, prophets were also anointed to symbolize their divine calling. For example, Elijah was instructed by God to anoint Elisha as his successor, 1 Kings 19 verse 16. The anointing of prophets underscored their role as messengers of God's word, carrying his authority and power in their mission. 4. Consecration of Holy Objects Exodus 30 verses 22-29 God commanded Moses to anoint the tabernacle, its furnishings, and utensils with a special blend of olive oil and spices. This anointing consecrated these objects, setting them apart for use in worship and sacrifice. The use of anointed oil on these holy objects made them sacred and dedicated to God, symbolizing purity, holiness, and separation from common use. Spiritual Meaning Sanctification Anointing with oil is deeply connected to the concept of sanctification, which means to be set apart for a holy purpose. The oil serves as a physical representation of God's sanctifying power. Divine Appointment Anointing someone with oil was a public recognition of their divine appointment. It was a physical act that confirmed a spiritual reality, indicating that God had chosen and empowered that person for a specific role. Empowerment by the Holy Spirit the act of anointing often coincided with the impartation of the Holy Spirit's power, as seen with David, 1 Samuel 16 verse 13. This divine empowerment was crucial for fulfilling the God-given responsibilities of the person anointed. New Testament Perspective In the New Testament, the concept of anointing takes on a more spiritual dimension. Believers are said to have an anointing from the Holy One, 1 John 2 verses 20 and 27 which is understood as the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit. This spiritual anointing is available to all believers, signifying that they are consecrated and empowered by God for His purposes. Conclusion Anointing and consecration with olive oil in the Bible symbolize the setting apart of individuals and objects for holy purposes. It signifies divine selection, empowerment, and the sanctification of those who are called to serve God in special ways. This ancient practice continues to resonate spiritually, representing the presence and power of God in the lives of His people. Olive oil as a symbol of the Holy Spirit is a rich and recurring theme in both the Old and New Testaments. The Bible often uses tangible symbols like olive oil to represent spiritual realities and olive oil's properties, nourishing, healing, illuminating. Make it a fitting symbol of the Holy Spirit's presence and work in the life of believers. One. Anointing with oil as a sign of the Spirit's presence. In the Bible, the act of anointing with oil is frequently associated with the coming of the Holy Spirit upon a person. For example, when Samuel anointed David as king, the scripture says that 
The Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David from that day on, 1 Samuel 16 verse 13. The oil served as a physical representation of the Holy Spirit being poured out on David, equipping him for his future role as king. Similarly, in the New Testament, believers are anointed by the Holy Spirit. This spiritual anointing empowers them for ministry, guides them in truth, and consecrates them for God's service. 1 John 2 verses 20 and 27. 2. Oil for lamps, light and guidance. Olive oil was used in lamps to provide light in the tabernacle and later in the temple. Exodus 27 verse 20. This oil-fed light is symbolic of the illumination that the Holy Spirit brings into the life of believers. Just as oil produces light, the Holy Spirit illuminates our minds, providing wisdom, understanding, and guidance. In Jesus' parable of the ten virgins, Matthew 25 verses 1 to 13, oil is essential for keeping their lamps lit as they wait for the bridegroom. The oil in this parable has often been interpreted as a symbol of the Holy Spirit, whose presence is necessary to keep the flame of faith burning as we await Christ's return. 3. Healing and Comfort The Holy Spirit is often referred to as the Comforter, John 14 verses 16 and 26, and olive oil's soothing and healing properties symbolize this aspect of the Spirit's work. In biblical times, olive oil was applied to wounds to promote healing, Luke 10 verse 34, symbolizing the restorative power of the Holy Spirit in the lives of believers. The anointing with oil for healing, as seen in James 5 verses 14 to 15, is a physical representation of the Holy Spirit's power to heal and restore, both physically and spiritually. The Holy Spirit, like oil, brings comfort, healing, and renewal. Consecration and Empowerment Anointing with oil in the Old Testament consecrated individuals for specific roles and responsibilities, such as priests, kings, and prophets. This anointing symbolized the empowering of the Holy Spirit for service. The oil was a visible sign of the Spirit's invisible work, marking the individual as chosen and empowered by God. In the New Testament, the Holy Spirit is the one who consecrates and empowers all believers for ministry. Paul speaks of the seal of the Spirit, Ephesians 1 verses 13 to 14, which is the mark of God's ownership and empowerment in a believer's life. 5. Unity and Fellowship Olive oil was also used in the preparation of the anointing oil in the Old Testament, a fragrant blend of oils that was poured over Aaron, the high priest, as a sign of his consecration, Psalm 133 verse 2. This act of anointing was a symbol of unity and fellowship among God's people. The Holy Spirit similarly works to bring unity within the body of Christ, fostering love, peace, and fellowship among believers. Psalm 133 verses 1 to 2 emphasizes this by comparing the unity of believers to the precious oil poured on Aaron's head, which flows down his beard and garments. This imagery portrays the Spirit's work in creating harmony and unity among God's people. New Testament and Spiritual Anointing The New Testament expands on the symbolism of oil by connecting it more explicitly to the Holy Spirit. Believers are said to be anointed by God which is synonymous with being filled with the Holy Spirit. For instance, in 2 Corinthians 1 verses 21 to 22, Paul writes, Now it is God who makes both us and you stand firm in Christ. He anointed us, set his seal of ownership on us, and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. This spiritual anointing is not limited to kings or priests, but is for all who belong to Christ. It signifies the Holy Spirit's indwelling presence, empowering believers to live out their faith and fulfill their God-given mission. Conclusion Olive oil, with its properties of healing, nourishment, light, and consecration, is a powerful symbol of the Holy Spirit in the Bible. Anointing with oil represents the Holy Spirit's presence, empowerment, and guidance in the lives of God's people. As oil was essential in the daily life and worship of the Israelites, so the Holy Spirit is essential in the life of every believer, bringing light, healing, and the power to fulfill God's purposes. Olive oil is frequently associated with healing in the Bible, both in a physical and spiritual sense. Its medicinal and restorative properties make it a powerful symbol of God's healing power, and it plays a significant role in rituals and prayers for health and wholeness. 1. Healing in the Bible Olive oil was commonly used in biblical times for its healing properties. 
It was applied to wounds to soothe and aid in healing, making it a symbol of physical restoration. For example, in the parable of the Good Samaritan, the Samaritan uses olive oil to treat the wounds of a man beaten by robbers. Luke 10 verse 34. This demonstrates the oil's role in caring for the injured and sick. Olive oil, used to provide light in ancient times, holds deep symbolic meaning in the Bible as a representation of God's light and guidance. The imagery of oil-fed lamps plays a significant role in conveying spiritual truths about God's presence, illumination, and direction in the lives of His people. Below are key themes where olive oil is connected to light and divine guidance. 1. Oil for the lamps in the tabernacle and temple. Exodus 27 verse 20. God instructed the Israelites to use pure olive oil for the lamps in the tabernacle. Command the Israelites to bring you clear oil of pressed olives for the light, so that the lamps may be kept burning continually. The lampstand, menorah, in the tabernacle, and later in the temple, was to be kept burning at all times as a symbol of God's perpetual presence among his people. The continual burning of these lamps, fueled by olive oil, represented God's guidance and the illumination of His truth. Just as the light from the lamps dispelled darkness in the tabernacle, God's presence and guidance dispel spiritual darkness in the lives of His people. Oil was also used in conjunction with prayer for healing, symbolizing the presence and power of God to heal both body and soul. It wasn't the oil itself that held power, but rather its use as an instrument in faith and prayer. Two. James 5 verses 14 to 15. Anointing with oil for healing. In the New Testament, the practice of using oil for healing is explicitly linked to prayer and faith. James 5 verses 14 to 15 says, Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. Here, Olive oil serves as a tangible sign of the prayer for healing. The anointing with oil is done in faith, signifying reliance on God's power to heal. The oil itself has no magical properties, but it represents the presence of the Holy Spirit and the believer's trust in God's ability to restore health. This practice reflects a holistic view of healing, where physical treatment, represented by the oil, and spiritual intervention, represented by prayer, work together. The anointing with oil in this context is a declaration of faith in God's ability to heal, symbolizing that the sick person is being placed under God's care. 3. Spiritual Healing Olive oil's symbolism extends beyond physical healing to include spiritual healing. In biblical thought, sickness and sin were often linked, and healing involved restoration of both the body and the soul. The act of anointing with oil was sometimes a symbol of the forgiveness of sins, and the cleansing power of God. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. This is often interpreted as God's restorative grace, healing the soul and restoring the believer to wholeness. The oil symbolizes the healing presence of God that brings peace, comfort, and renewal to the spirit. In this spiritual context, olive oil is a metaphor for the Holy Spirit's work of healing the brokenness of sin renewing the heart, and restoring a right relationship with God. 4. The Good Samaritan, Luke 10 verses 25-37 The parable of the Good Samaritan provides a vivid picture of olive oil's healing properties. When the Samaritan finds a man who has been beaten and left for dead, he pours oil and wine on his wounds to cleanse and soothe them before taking him to an inn for further care. This use of oil represents mercy, compassion, and healing. It shows how physical care and healing are intertwined with acts of love and kindness. In a broader sense, the parable can be seen as a metaphor for the spiritual healing that God offers, treating the wounds of sin and bringing restoration. 5. Jesus and Healing Jesus' ministry was characterized by healing, both physical and spiritual. While the Gospels do not always mention the use of oil specifically in Jesus' healing miracles, the concept of anointing is still present. For instance, when Jesus sends out the twelve disciples to preach and heal, they anoint many sick people with oil and heal them. Mark 6 verse 13. This passage highlights the continuation of the practice of anointing with oil for healing in the early Christian community. It shows that oil was not just a traditional remedy, but also a symbol of divine intervention in the process of healing. 6. 
healing and restoration in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, olive oil was a symbol of God's provision and abundance, which often included health and wellness. For example, in 2 Kings 4 verses 1-7, to the prophet Elisha miraculously multiplies a widow's jar of oil to sustain her and her sons, symbolizing God's provision and care. While this miracle is about provision, it also reflects God's concern for the physical and emotional well-being of His people. Oil, therefore, became associated not just with healing but with the broader concept of restoration, of life, health, and prosperity. It served as a reminder of God's ongoing care and the promise of restoration and healing for His people. Conclusion Olive oil in the Bible is a powerful symbol of healing, representing both physical and spiritual restoration. It is used in the anointing of the sick, signifying faith in God's power to heal and the presence of the Holy Spirit. From the Good Samaritan's compassionate use of oil to care for the wounded, to the instructions in James for anointing the sick, olive oil acts as a conduit for God's healing grace. It reminds believers of God's ability to restore wholeness and bring comfort to those who are hurting, both in body and spirit. 2. The Menorah, Symbol of Divine Light. The Menorah, which was the lampstand in the tabernacle and later in the temple, was a powerful symbol of divine light. The seven-branched menorah, fueled by olive oil, represented the perfection and completeness of God's light. It symbolized God's guidance to Israel and their calling to be a light to the nations. Isaiah 42, 6, 49,6 The oil used in the menorah symbolizes the Spirit of God, whose presence brings wisdom, understanding, and divine guidance. In Zechariah 4 verses 1 to 6, the vision of the golden lampstand with two olive trees supplying it with oil is interpreted as God's Spirit empowering and guiding His people. Not by might nor by power, but by my Spirit, says the Lord Almighty. 3. The Parable of the Ten Virgins. Matthew 25 verses 1 to 13. In this parable, Jesus compares the kingdom of heaven to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise and took oil with their lamps, while five were foolish and took no extra oil. When the bridegroom arrived, the foolish virgins' lamps were going out, and they had no oil to keep them burning. The oil in this parable is often interpreted as representing spiritual preparedness, particularly the presence of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer. The burning lamps symbolize the light of faith and the guidance of God's Spirit. Those who are spiritually prepared symbolized by having oil, are ready to meet the Lord when He comes. The lesson here is that God's light and guidance, represented by the oil, are essential for spiritual readiness and living a life that is pleasing to Him. The light from the lamps guided the virgins on their journey, just as God's Spirit guides believers through life. For light as a metaphor for divine guidance. Light, in biblical symbolism, is often associated with God's presence, truth, and guidance. Psalm 119 verse 105 states, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Olive oil, as the fuel for the lamps, becomes a metaphor for the sustaining power of God's word and his spirit, which guide believers in the path of righteousness. God's guidance is likened to light that shows the way in darkness. In John 8 verse 12, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Just as the lamps in the tabernacle needed oil to burn, believers need the continual presence of Christ and the Holy Spirit to walk in God's light. 5. The Holy Spirit as the source of spiritual light. The oil used in lamps is a symbol of the Holy Spirit who illuminates the hearts and minds of believers. Just as oil provides fuel for a lamp, the Holy Spirit provides the spiritual energy and insight needed to live a life that honors God. The Spirit's role in guiding believers is essential. In John 16 verse 13, Jesus says, But when He, the Spirit of truth, comes, He will guide you into all the truth. The Holy Spirit, symbolized by the olive oil, is the one who gives believers discernment, wisdom, and the ability to follow God's will. 6. The Light of the World Believers are called to be the light of the world, Matthew 5 verses 14 to 16, reflecting the light of Christ in their lives. Just as the oil and lamps kept the flame burning, the
the Holy Spirit empowers believers to shine brightly in a dark world. The light that comes from God is meant to be shared, illuminating the way for others to come to know Him. The idea of light as guidance extends to the mission of the church. Believers, filled with the Holy Spirit, the oil, are to be a guiding light for others, leading them to Christ and reflecting His truth in the world. Conclusion Olive oil, as a source of light in the Bible, symbolizes God's guidance, presence, and the illumination of His truth. It is connected to the work of the Holy Spirit, who enlightens and directs believers on their spiritual journey. Just as the lamps in the tabernacle needed oil to burn continually, believers need the Holy Spirit's constant presence to walk in God's light, receive His guidance, and reflect His truth to the world. In the Bible, olive oil also symbolizes protection. It was used in various rituals and practices to signify divine covering, safeguarding individuals from harm, and consecrating them for God's service. Olive oil's role in anointing, healing, and consecration is closely linked to God's protection over His people, both physically and spiritually. 1. Anointing as a sign of God's protection Anointing with oil was not just a ritual for consecration, but also a sign of God's protection over the anointed person. When someone was anointed, they were marked as under God's divine care and guardianship. For example, when David was anointed as king, the anointing oil symbolized God's protection over his life and future reign. 1 Samuel 16 verse 13 Psalm 23 verse 5 You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. In this famous psalm, David reflects on God's provision and protection. The imagery of anointing with oil suggests that God's favor and protection are upon him and that God will shield him from his enemies and lead him to a place of safety and abundance. 2. Protection in Spiritual Warfare Anointing with oil has long been viewed as a protective measure against spiritual forces of darkness. In the Bible, oil is used to consecrate and protect individuals from spiritual attacks. In this sense, olive oil serves as a symbol of the Holy Spirit's power to protect believers from evil influences and to sanctify them. Ephesians 6 verse 12 reminds us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of evil. In the context of spiritual warfare, anointing with oil represents invoking God's protective presence over someone's life. Just as olive oil was applied to shields in ancient times to protect them from cracking, anointing with oil spiritually fortifies believers against attack. 3. The Passover and Protection Although olive oil is not directly mentioned in the story of the Passover, Exodus 12, the concept of marking the Israelites' homes with blood to protect them from the angel of death parallels the idea of being marked for protection. Anointing with oil in biblical tradition carries a similar connotation of being set apart and protected by God's hand. Those anointed with oil, especially kings and priests, were considered to be under God's special protection. This anointing symbolized that they were covered by God's divine authority and care, making them untouchable by their enemies unless God permitted it. 4. Protection through healing Olive oil was frequently used as a medicinal balm to heal wounds, as seen in the parable of the Good Samaritan, Luke 10 verse 34. This use of oil for physical healing also carries a protective symbolism. By treating wounds with oil, people were protecting the injured from further harm and infection symbolizing God's protective care in the healing process. James 5 verses 14 to 15. When the elders anoint the sick with oil and pray over them, it is not only a prayer for healing, but also for protection from further illness or harm. The anointing serves as a visible sign of God's encompassing care and protection during the person's vulnerability. 5. Shepherding imagery, protecting the flock. In ancient Israel, Shepherds would anoint the heads of their sheep with oil to protect them from insects that could burrow into their skin and cause infections. This imagery of anointing for protection is deeply rooted in the pastoral care God offers to His people. Just as shepherds protect their flock with oil, God protects His people from the harmful influences that seek to damage them. Psalm 23 verse 5 reflects this shepherding care when it says, You anoint my head with oil. The anointing of the head can be seen as a metaphor for God's protective covering over His people, shielding them from danger and harm. 6. Protection of Sacred Objects In the Old Testament, olive oil was used to consecrate the tabernacle, its furnishings, and the priests, 
Exodus 30 verses 22 to 29. This anointing not only set these objects and people apart for God's service, but also protected them from being profaned or misused. Anything anointed with oil was considered sacred and under God's protection. The protective symbolism here extends to the idea that whatever is consecrated to God is safeguarded by His power. The anointing oil acted as a barrier, symbolically protecting the sacred from the common, the holy from the profane. 7. Olive Oil in Ancient Warfare In ancient times, olive oil was used on shields to keep them supple and protect them in battle. A shield treated with oil would not crack under pressure and would effectively protect the soldier in combat. This practical use of oil as protection in battle serves as a metaphor for the spiritual protection that God provides. Psalm 18 verse 35 speaks of God being a shield to His people. You make your saving help my shield, and your right hand sustains me. The connection between oil and shields reinforces the idea that God's protection is strong, durable, and effective against the forces that oppose His people. Conclusion Olive oil in the Bible is not only a symbol of consecration, healing, and light, but also of divine protection. Whether through anointing, healing rituals, or shepherding practices, olive oil signifies God's protective care over His people. The act of anointing with oil sets individuals apart, marking them as under God's special guardianship. Just as oil was used to treat and protect wounds or to fortify shields in battle, God uses His Spirit, symbolized by the oil, to shield and protect His people from harm both physically and spiritually. In the Bible, olive oil is also a symbol of provision and abundance. Olive oil was a valuable resource in ancient Israel, essential for daily life, worship, and trade. Its role in God's provision for His people is seen throughout Scripture, where it represents sustenance, prosperity, and the blessings of God. Below are key themes where olive oil is connected to divine provision and abundance. 1. Olive oil as a basic necessity and blessing. Olive oil was one of the staples of life in ancient Israel, along with grain and wine. It was used for cooking, lighting lamps, anointing, and as medicine. Therefore, the presence of olive oil in a household was a sign of God's provision for the family's basic needs. In Deuteronomy 8 verses 7 to 8, God describes the promised land as a place of abundance, a land with wheat and barley, vines and fig trees, pomegranates, olive oil, and honey. The inclusion of olive oil in this list highlights its importance as a symbol of prosperity and God's blessing. 2. The Widow's Oil, 2 Kings 4 verses 1 to 7. One of the most powerful examples of God's provision through olive oil is found in the story of the widow and the prophet Elisha in 2 Kings 4 verses 1 to 7. The widow was in desperate financial trouble, and Elisha instructed her to gather empty jars. God miraculously multiplied her small amount of olive oil until all the jars were filled. She was able to sell the oil, pay off her debts, and live on the remaining income. This miracle demonstrates that God can take something as simple as olive oil and turn it into a source of abundance and provision. It shows that even in the midst of scarcity, God can provide in ways that exceed human expectations. 3. Olive Oil as Part of the Covenant Blessings Olive oil is included among the blessings that God promises to His people when they obey His commandments. In Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 8, God promises to bless the work of His people's hands, including their production of olive oil. Verse 8 specifically says, The Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hand to. Conversely, disobedience would result in the loss of these blessings, including a shortage of olive oil, Deuteronomy 28 verse 40. This shows that olive oil was considered a tangible sign of God's favor and provision, directly connected to the people's covenant relationship with Him. 4. Feasts and Offerings Olive oil was an essential element in the worship of God, particularly in offerings and feasts. For instance, it was mixed with flour to make bread for grain offerings, Leviticus 2, verses 1-7. The use of olive oil in offerings highlights its role in Israel's worship and thanksgiving for God's provision. The abundance of olive oil was also a sign of prosperity during feasts and celebrations. In Nehemiah 8 verse 10, when the people are told to celebrate, they are instructed to eat rich food and drink sweet drinks. Olive oil, used in the preparation of food, represents the richness and abundance of God's provision. 
5. The Promised Land Flowing with Oil The Promised Land is often described as a place of abundance, flowing with milk, honey, and oil. In Deuteronomy 33 verse 24, Moses blesses the tribe of Asher, saying, Let him dip his foot in oil. This imagery conveys the richness and fertility of the land, where olive oil was so plentiful that it overflowed. The abundance of olive oil in the land was a sign that God's people would not lack for anything. It symbolized the prosperity that would come as a result of God's blessing and favor upon them. 6. Olive Oil in the Time of Solomon During the reign of King Solomon, olive oil was part of the wealth and abundance that characterized his kingdom. 1 Kings 5 verses 10-11 describes how Solomon traded vast quantities of olive oil with King Hiram of Tyre in exchange for cedar and cypress wood. This trade contributed to the wealth and splendor of Solomon's kingdom, showing how olive oil was a significant resource and a symbol of prosperity. The abundance of olive oil during Solomon's reign reflects God's provision for his people at a time of peace and prosperity, when Israel experienced unparalleled wealth and influence. 7. Oil in Times of Famine Olive oil was also a symbol of God's provision in times of famine. For example, during the drought in the time of Elijah, God provided for the prophet, a widow, and her son by miraculously ensuring that their supply of flour and oil did not run out, 1 Kings 17 verses 8-16. This story highlights God's ability to provide for His people, even in the midst of scarcity and hardship. The widow's jar of oil, which never ran dry, becomes a powerful symbol of God's sustaining provision. It shows that God's abundance is not dependent on external circumstances, but on His power to provide. Conclusion Olive oil in the Bible symbolizes God's provision and abundance. It was a staple in daily life, a source of wealth, and an essential part of worship. From the promised land described as overflowing with oil to miraculous provisions of olive oil in times of need, the Bible uses olive oil to represent God's ability to provide for His people. Whether through multiplying a widow's small supply or including it as part of covenant blessings, Olive oil signifies the richness of God's care and the prosperity that comes from His hand. Olive oil carries deep spiritual symbolism in the Bible, revealing hidden truths that speak to its significance in God's plan. Its multifaceted roles in anointing, healing, worship, and daily life represent profound spiritual realities. Here, we explore the hidden truths and symbolic meanings of olive oil in Scripture. 1. Symbol of the Holy Spirit Olive oil is often seen as a symbol of the Holy Spirit throughout the Bible. Just as oil was used to anoint and consecrate individuals for God's service, the Holy Spirit anoints and sets believers apart for divine purposes. The oil's ability to provide light, heal wounds, and protect from harm mirrors the work of the Holy Spirit, who enlightens, heals, and protects believers. Zechariah 4 verses 1 to 6 presents a vision of a golden lampstand supplied with oil from two olive trees, representing the Holy Spirit's unceasing supply of power and guidance. This passage reveals that it is not by might, nor by power, but by my Spirit, indicating that divine empowerment and anointing come from the Spirit, symbolized by the olive oil. 2. Consecration and Sanctification Olive oil was used to consecrate kings priests, and sacred objects in the Old Testament. Anointing with oil symbolized setting someone or something apart for God's holy purposes. This act of consecration also pointed to the deeper spiritual truth of sanctification, where individuals are set apart and made holy by God's Spirit. 1 Samuel 16 verse 13 describes how Samuel anointed David with oil, and from that day on the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. This demonstrates the connection between anointing with oil and receiving the Holy Spirit's empowerment for a specific mission or calling. 3. Divine Healing Olive oil's use in healing rituals, as seen in the New Testament, represents more than just physical healing. In James 5 verses 14-15, the anointing of the sick with oil is coupled with prayer, symbolizing the healing and restorative power of God. The use of oil in this context points to the deeper truth of spiritual healing, God's ability to heal the soul from sin and brokenness. The hidden truth here is that just as olive oil can heal physical wounds, God's Spirit heals the wounds of the heart and soul, bringing restoration and wholeness to those who seek Him. 4. 
source of light. Olive oil was the fuel used in lamps to provide light, particularly in the tabernacle and the temple. Spiritually, this symbolizes the light of God's presence and guidance. The oil that kept the lamps burning continually before the Lord points to the idea that God's presence is a continual light in the lives of His people. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Olive oil's use in lamps serves as a metaphor for the illuminating power of God's word and spirit. It reveals the hidden truth that God's guidance is like oil fueling the lamps of our lives keeping us from walking in spiritual darkness. 5. Protection and Covering Olive oil was used for anointing as a form of protection, both physically and spiritually. In ancient Israel, shepherds would anoint their sheep with oil to protect them from insects and infections, a practice symbolizing God's protective care over His people. The deeper spiritual truth here is that God's anointing, symbolized by the oil, covers and protects believers from spiritual harm. Just as the oil provided a barrier of protection for the sheep, God's Spirit shields His people from the attacks of the enemy. 6. Provision and Abundance Olive oil was a sign of God's provision and abundance. In times of famine or hardship, God's miraculous provision of oil, such as in the story of the widow's oil, 2 Kings 4 verses 1-7, symbolized His ability to meet every need. The hidden truth in these stories is that God's provision is not limited by circumstances. Olive oil, which was a daily necessity, represents God's ongoing care and the abundance of blessings that come from living in obedience to Him. It points to the truth that God is a provider who supplies not only material needs but also spiritual nourishment and abundance. 7. Anointing for Mission Anointing with olive oil in the Bible often signified being chosen and empowered for a specific mission or task. Prophets, priests, and kings were anointed with oil as a sign of God's calling and divine empowerment for their roles. This anointing symbolizes the deeper truth that believers are chosen and anointed by God for specific purposes in His kingdom. Just as olive oil consecrated leaders in the Bible, the Holy Spirit anoints believers today empowering them for their spiritual callings and missions in the world. 8. Symbol of Peace and Reconciliation Olive oil is also linked to peace and reconciliation. The olive branch, from which olive oil comes, is traditionally a symbol of peace. In Genesis 8 verse 11, after the flood, a dove brought back an olive leaf to Noah, signifying the end of God's judgment and the restoration of peace between God and humanity. The hidden truth here is that olive oil symbolizes the peace that comes through reconciliation with God. Just as the olive branch symbolized the end of the flood and the restoration of peace, God's Spirit, symbolized by the oil, brings peace to the hearts of those who are reconciled to Him. 9. Connection to the Messiah The term Messiah, Hebrew, Mashiach, literally means anointed one. Jesus, the Messiah, was anointed by God's Spirit to fulfill His redemptive mission. Olive oil's use in anointing kings and priests points to Jesus as the ultimate anointed one, who brings salvation and the fullness of the Spirit. The hidden truth here is that the anointing with olive oil in the Old Testament foreshadowed the coming of Christ, who was anointed with the Holy Spirit to bring redemption and restoration to all who believe in Him. Conclusion Olive oil in the Bible is laden with deep spiritual symbolism and hidden truths that reveal God's nature and His relationship with His people. From its use in anointing and healing to its role as a symbol of light, provision, and peace, olive oil points to the work of the Holy Spirit, the provision of God, and the anointing of Christ as the Messiah. Through these symbols, God communicates His protection, empowerment, and abundant provision for those who trust in Him. Conclusion Olive oil in the Bible is more than a simple product of the olive tree. It is a profound symbol that weaves through Scripture, representing deep spiritual truths and divine realities. From anointing and consecration to healing, provision, and protection, olive oil serves as a physical representation of God's presence, the Holy Spirit's power, and His covenant relationship with His people. Anointing and Consecration Olive oil's role in anointing kings, priests, and sacred objects signifies setting apart for divine purposes, reflecting the deeper spiritual truth of being consecrated and empowered by the Holy Spirit, symbol of the Holy Spirit.
olive oil is closely tied to the work of the Holy Spirit, symbolizing enlightenment, healing, and divine empowerment. The Spirit's presence is mirrored in the oil's ability to bring light, sustain life, and protect from harm. Healing Used in healing rituals, olive oil points to God's power to restore and heal not just physically, but spiritually. It represents God's compassion and His desire to bring wholeness to His people. Light and Guidance As the fuel for lamps, olive oil symbolizes God's guidance and the light of His presence in the lives of believers. It illustrates the way God illuminates the path of those who seek Him, keeping them from spiritual darkness. Protection Anointing with oil serves as a symbol of divine protection, both from physical harm and spiritual attacks. It represents God's covering over His people, shielding them from the forces of evil, provision, and abundance. Olive oil is a symbol of God's abundant provision, reminding believers that God is their ultimate provider, able to supply all their needs. Whether in times of plenty or scarcity, olive oil reflects God's faithfulness to sustain His people. Hidden Truths and Symbolism Through its various uses and representations, Olive oil unveils hidden truths about God's nature, His covenant, and His plans for humanity. It points to Jesus, the Anointed One, and the peace, healing, and redemption found in Him. In every instance, olive oil serves as a powerful spiritual symbol of God's presence, power, and provision. It reminds believers that God is active in their lives, providing light in darkness, healing in brokenness, protection in danger, and abundance in need. Through this simple yet profound element, the Bible reveals deep truths about God's relationship with His people and His ongoing work in the world.